Today, we will learn about general traits and classification of pathogenic fungi. 1. General Traits of Fungi Fungi are unicellular or multicellular heterotrophic eukaryotic microorganisms without photosynthetic pigment and containing chitin and cellulose in a cell wall. 1. Vegetative Body of Fungi The typical fungal vegetative body is a filamentous body, and the single filamentous body is called hypha. Many hyphae are interwoven to form mycelium. Hyphae of fungi consist of septal hyphae and non-septal hyphae. Septal hyphae, a vegetative hypha having a septum. The hyphae of a higher fungi have a septum. Non-septal hyphae, a vegetative hypha without a septum. Hyphae of a lower fungi usually have no septum. 1. Bacterial colony. Each part of the mycelium has the potential to grow. The mycelial segments or spores of fungi radiate outward from a point of the substrate, which are called colonies. There are different colors and texture in these colonies. 2. Metamorphosis of mycelium. In the process of long-term adaptation to the environment, the metamorphosis fungi of hyphae have specialized some hyphal structures with special functions including hostorium infection pad, adherent cell pseudoroot and hypha. 3. Mycelial tissue. When mycelium grows to a certain stage, it is loose or densely intertwined to form prosenchyma tissue and pseudoparenchyma tissue. In prosenchyma, the component hyphae lie more or less parallel to one another and unite to form a rather loosely interwoven structure, and pseudoparenchyma is composed of round or polygonal cells closely arranged and not easily separated. The common mycelial tissues have sclerotia and cotyledon. Sclerotia is a kind of hard granular tissue gathered by hyphae. The cortex is a pseudoparenchyma, which is black or dark brown, hard in texture, and is composed of colorless thin filament tissue. Sclerotium can be used to resist adverse environment. When there is suitable environment, the sclerotia germinates to produce hyphae or reproductive organs. Subplots Subplots are structures composed of hyphae and some host tissues. Most of the structures are cushion-like, consisting of pseudoparenchyma and prosenchyma, and its function is to produce propagules. Asexual propagation of fungi. Fungi directly produces their offspring by splitting, budding, and protoplasm cleavage. Without cell nuclear mating and meiosis, the reproduction mode of new individuals is called asexual reproduction. The spores produced by asexual reproduction are referred to as asexual spores. Common asexual spores consist of zoospores, sporangium spores, conidia, and chlamydospores. Sexual reproduction of fungi. Sexual reproduction is the mode of reproduction in which fungi produce sexual spores by combining two sex cells or two sex organs which usually occurs at the late stage of infection or after sleeping. The spores produced by sexual reproduction are sexual spores. Main types of sexual spores are oospores, zygospores, ascospores, as well as basidiospores. 3. Life history of fungi The whole life process of fungal spores finally produce the same spore after germination, growth, and reproduction, which is called the life history of fungi. Spores may be sexual or asexual. Therefore, the life of fungi can be divided into sexual stage and asexual stage. Some fungi has no sexual stage or this stage is uncommon. Asexual stage, the process in which asexual spores germinate into mycelium and then produce the same asexual spore, namely asexual spores propagate into the appropriate substrate, resulting in a new cycle. However, the disease cycle is short and frequent, which generally constitutes reinfection. In the sexual stage, sexual spores germinate to produce hyphae. Hyphae produce two kinds of sexual gametes or sexual organs. They go through the process of cytoplasmic mating and finally undergo meiosis to produce sexual spores. It generally occurs at the later stage of vegetative growth inappropriate nutrition or environmental conditions and only occurs once in a cycle. Initial infection that results in the disease. 3. Classification of plant pathogenic fungi. 
In the eight kingdom system, fungi in a broad sense can be divided into protozoa, chromista, and fungi. The fungi related to plant diseases mainly include protozoa, protoplast rhizopus without cell wall, which mainly results in plant root swelling disease. Chromista, the cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose, and zoopores have flagella. Fungi, those whose cell wall is mainly composed of chitin. Example, chalcocetes, zygomycetes, ascomycetes, and basidiomycetes. The plant pathogenic fungi we will learn in future courses are mainly the fungi listed above. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for listening.